Cowabunga! Oh my god. Uh, May have blown up the screen. Yeah, the screen's gone. <laughs> Alright, what's up YouTube? It's uh, Ghost and Zeke Bo here. Today we're going to do a, a remote logistics system tutorial. Remote order. So, uh, as you see here, I got a, a remote order in my hand. And you can see what's in the system. I got dirt and cobble in there now. So, I can click on that and order a stack. And got these uh, nifty ender pouches here. Shows up in my ender pouch. And uh, I've got this green one. Actually, uh, put it back. So, and then it it goes back into the system from there. So, can can request all the cobble and rest of the dirt. And shove in the red. And <laughs> put it back in the green. So. It's uh, you can see it'd be uh, it's pretty awesome, and for pretty much doing anything, you can order from anywhere that you're at, so any amount of stuff. So and it looks like this little setup over here. So I'm gonna walk you through that real quick. Try to make this video kind of short. So uh, first thing you're gonna need to do is have a power source, obviously. So she's a high voltage for now. Zigbo being, being ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing we got a logistics power junction. So uh, from that, I'm gonna just hook up some basic logistics pipes. And then the next thing, the important thing you're gonna need is this uh, remote order logistics pipe. And then on the other side, I'm gonna put a Mark II. Logistics chassis, and then I'm gonna do uh, do some ender chests, some flowers around them mm -hmm. for for pretty pretty decorations. Gotta, gotta make it look nice. And uh, for my ender pouches, I use uh, I use green for go, so make that one green, red for stop. So when you order stuff, it's going to come to the red chest, stops in there, just for, you know, my convenience. Um, yeah, after that, uh, we're going to set up another chest here. It's a regular chest. And this one, we're going to want to change to a default route. And then on this green chest for the Mark II chassis, I'm going to put an extractor module in there. So you can use a, a Mark I chassis or whatever. <laughs> Damn slime. Going to oh. town on me. Yeah, no, I'll take care of <laughs> What is happening? All right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we put an extractor Mark III in there. And this is the default route. Slimes are so obnoxious. After that, uh, what we're going to do is use the new uh, Energistics setup. So, um, we're going to need another power supply. You could hook it up to the same line, but uh, just for easy right now, I'm just going to make it another one. We got an ME controller. So, this is part of the new Energistics mod. So, it makes storing items incredibly awesome. Uh, we'll maybe do a full tutorial on that later. Right now, we're just going to use it. And oh, and your you voice does sound like a robot. I hope that clears out. Oh, no. Does I still sound like a robot? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. Sick robot. Sick robot. Uh, I might have to cut this part of the video out. <laughs> Why does the internet fail us? Every time. Oh man, that's bad. Recording? Yeah, but I'm, I'm about to cut this part out. I just <laughs> okay. Uh, where was I at? I uh, just threw. It, I got the uh, energetic stuff set up here. Uh, this is the dry bay, and 
ME controller and then in my hand we're going to do an access terminal and uh, what's that interface okay and that's an ME interface which is important for this so um, connected to the ME interface you're going to want to do a provider uh, logistics pipe so I've got the mark 2 here just going to hook that up to that there and we can actually take this over and it doesn't need to be touching that chest or anything just want to get it hooked up into the logistics system there <laughs> I don't, I'm not quite sure what just happened there I'm maybe, not doing anything maybe you guys were paying attention I don't know anyways uh, let's see here next thing you're gonna want to do um, well, we'll go ahead and put these storage devices in here. It's different size storage, so 64K is the biggest you can do. So I'll just put those in the drive bay. That'll hold, that'll store all the items. Um, next thing is uh, ME import bus. You're going to want to hook this up to the chest. Not like that. Psst, that's the wrong way. <laughs> All right. These so, just like that. Just mag I don't. Know. They want to be in this video real bad. I don't know why he hates me so much. I got him. All right. Uh, now you're gonna grab some ME cable, and you can actually hook this up. But I really only have one ME cable. Whoops. <laughs> 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 I don't think I have cre create mode turned on. <laughs> I'll get it for you. I've got it. It's not a big uh... deal. All right, there you go. It's connected. Yeah. So, anyways, you can hook that ME cable up to anywhere on the ME system, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. You're gonna take your uh, remote order. Here's a brand new one. hasn't been synced yet. You're gonna come over to this remote uh, order logistics pipe. I just right click on it. It's connected to a pipe now get these brand new inner ender pouches um, and now with the uh, new patch you gotta shift right click and Sneak now, my, attack. now my ender pouch is red I'm gonna turn this one green so now I got my ender pouches, my remote order and full system set up here so uh, now I'm just gonna grab some I don't know, cobble or dirt, whatever, just anything you want to put in the system. I got some random stuff. So, yeah, put some random stuff in the system. Or you can put it in through the ender pouch. You know, I'll put any of this stuff in there. And One thing you can note. see it disappearing from the ender pouch here. What's up, Zigbo? On the import bus, you should set it to move stacks of items. See that option in the bottom right there? Ah, this is very good. Move stacks of items, much move single way. items. Yes. Otherwise, it pulls one single item at a time, and it's very slow. So, now all of that stuff is actually on these discs. Well, one of them. And with our order, you can see all the stuff that's in there. And we can go ahead and quest some of this and it should show up right in our red ender pouch all right and you can literally do that from anywhere and I could put all this stuff in there and as you can see it's uh, it's all back in the system so here, let me order something, and uh, you can watch it go through the pipe so they can see how it comes out yeah, yeah. of this ME system right there. So I'm going to order a little bit of dirt. Dirt comes through, cobble, all that junk. And there's that, and uh, if you actually, real quick, I guess I could show you guys how to, how to set it up so you can have a logistics only system instead of uh, bringing in the ME system with it. So, turn create mode on. 
Yeah. So, this, so, is, this system is no longer connected. What were you going to say? I was just going to say, with the addition of the ME system, it'd be almost dumb to use the old logistics setup yeah. of storage. The uh, logistics item storage is pretty much useless <laughs> since the uh, addition of the energistics. So, well, you're basically limited to, you know, the standard storage devices such as chests, barrels, and yeah. deep storage units. So right here we've got got a basic Mark II chassis with a diamond chest. And <laughs> I actually put all of my uh, stuff. Did you take all the stuff out of the system? Oh, it's not, con it's not connected anything. anymore. I, uh, I broke the pipe. Such a failure. Uh, yeah. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I knew I was gonna mess this video up. Alright, so got an item sync module here. Just go ahead and throw that in. And then grab a uh, provider module as well. Throw one of those in there. And I don't know, we'll just make it so this thing requests rose red just so yeah well actually we really don't need it to request anything we'll just make it a default route for now no it has to request stuff right what yes. are you trying to do unless you have an extractor module right now i have an extractor module in this one so anything we put in the green ender chest it should go seen. ahead and get extracted or, n or not I'm really not sure where that stuff went oh you know <laughs> I know where it went <laughs> <laughs> your other system that you have hooked up over here oh cause it's the same color yes yeah that <laughs> okay okay well, that was a fail, guys. I'm sorry about that. We might try to cut that out. I don't know. Uh, all right, we'll try one more time. Uh, rose red in the green inner pouch. Never seen anything move that slow, but and uh, I can see what... when it when it's a default route, it moves kind of slow through the logistics pipe. But if it uh, has a specific route that it's going, that's when it will go faster. Okay, now we can see in our system the rose red. And we can order some of that. You can see it flow back to the red enter chest. And we have access to it again. So, otherwise, you could actually take out the, uh, make it not a default route. Make it request a specific item. And then if you come over to here and, uh, take out the extractor and put in a uh, sort item sort quick sort quick sort module put a quick sort module in there you can throw anything in this chest and basically anything that can well does have a spot to go will get sorted out so and if it doesn't, if it, it will still go to the default route. We don't have a default route right now. Well, if you have one. So, you see that... I guess, oh yeah, the rose red's just in there from before. So, all the rest of the stuff stayed in the green ender chest. So, yeah, that uh, pretty much wraps up the tutorial maybe some crap we should take out of this <laughs> nah <laughs> I don't think we blew up nearly enough sheep either there weren't any sheep blown up it's all slime and pigment well, that's why we didn't blow up enough sheep well I guess we'll have to add that in there alright well uh, yeah thanks for watching guys you got anything to say or anything we forgot uh, eat pizza and touch radioactive fluid.
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's a Ninja Turtle reference, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace. Peace out.